Hey guys, this is Luke from Walzer CJD and Hopkins here to bring you the all new Wagoneer. A lot of really cool features about this vehicle I want to cover with you guys as well as the different trims, stylings, and all the safety. Um, starting at front here, you do have the full LED front end, so you're going to get the adaptive LED headlights and fog lights. A lot of safety features up here, including sensors, radar cruise control, emergency braking, lane keeping. Uh, the full suite of safety features are available depending on the trim level you're looking at. This is going to be the Wagoneer. There is one size that's going to have more features. That's the Grand Wagoneer. That's going to have every single bell and whistle you could imagine. Um, depending on how you spec out your Wagoneer, you can get very close to that. This is going to come standard with the 5.7 liter V8. Uh, the 6.4 is what's going to come standard in the Grand Wagoneer. Taking a look at the side here, there's going to be a lot of different styling cues that they brought back from the old Wagoneer. It's going to be a little bit more of a boxy shape with the hard lines along the side. You do get specialty two-tone wheels with the Wagoneer. Every single model has a specific wheel, so you're always going to get something that looks good. Along the inside here, you're going to see when you open the door, you have these large side steps. These are built into the side molding of the vehicle, so it doesn't look like you have those power side steps. They hide right in the side. All right, now to the back. Taking a look at the trunk, uh, again, this is gonna be a great size third row. So sizing wise, this is gonna be a little bit longer than a Tahoe and a little bit shorter than a Suburban, placed perfectly in the middle so you have the optimum amount of space as well as passenger room. So back here we do have the power folding seats. So you just press a button, the seats are going to fold flat. You will have additional storage underneath here. This is where your jack assembly will be as well as some extra hidden storage and roof rails will be stored down here so they don't always need to be right on top. It does have a towing package. Uh, really nice thing about this towing package, it can tow up to 10,000 pounds, which is more than most pickup trucks. So this is gonna give you a lot of capability on an off-road towing trailers, boats, different vehicles, and it's gonna give you a lot of different flexibility. As you take a look across the back here, you do see all the sensors. Those are going to be for the rear parking as well as some of the different side marker controls. Taking a look across the rear here, again, this is a really good look at these specialty wheels. Two-tone wheels, really good looking, really stand out, and again, every different model has them. The Wagoneer comes in three different trims. It's going to be one, two, and three. Depending on the features that you add, you're going to find yourself in those different series. Same thing with the Grand Wagoneer, come in series one, two, three, depending on the features that you equip it with. Taking a look at the front here, again, keyless entry, automatic sidestep. Let's take a look at all the features on the inside. Taking a look at the inside, a very comfortable place to be. There's a lot of technology in here to go over, so I'll start with the simple thing the controls up top. This is gonna be for all your power sunroof and shade controls as well as your assist and SOS. Now that's gonna be for your roadside assistance if you run out of gas, get into an accident, or even need to change a tire. Instead of you having to get out, they will come to you and take care of that and help you out. Uh, below here, you do have an option for a camera rear view mirror. This one is not equipped with it, but you can get that equipped. Basically what it does is there's a camera on the back of the vehicle and it will turn on and let you see, even if you have full capacity on the inside and can't see out your rear window, you can flip the little switch at the bottom and turn on that rear camera. Down here, you do have a gigantic screen. So there's a few different options for the screens. This model has the 10 inch display and you can go a little bigger from there in the Grand Wagoneer. Lots of technology in here. You do have your heated and cooled seats up front, heated seats in the rear, wireless Apple CarPlay, which is a new feature that just launched with Jeeps this year, as well as the Wagoneer. Take a look a little bit below that, you do have your wireless charger, lots of storage space down here. Um, on the Grand Wagoneer, you can option this centerpiece with a screen. So that's gonna be your touchscreen for climate controls on the Grand Wagoneer. Below that, you do have all your safety controls on the button suite down there. Your different drive modes off to the left and to the right, you do have your four corner air suspension. Now this is a self leveling system. So as you start driving, it'll automatically go back to its optimal setting. Got tons of cup holders up front, huge storage down below and more chargers right in the top of the center console. Taking a look at all the steering wheel controls, there are plenty. You do have your distance cruise control or standard cruise control as well as all your controls for the screen on the left. 
The center display is gonna have all the same information that your touchscreen up here does, including your navigation. So you can turn your navigation on, have it in the front screen, and someone can change the radio station on this. One really cool feature that they added to the Wagoneers is your screen off to the right. Now there's a little button off to the corner here and it turns on your passenger screen. Now that's gonna be for your passenger to watch a movie, to select a new destination, to change the radio station, and it can only be seen by the passenger. So when you're driving and they're watching a movie, you're not gonna see it as the driver, it's not gonna be a distraction to you. They can also control the second row screens as well. So when equipped, you can actually adjust the second row screen. So if you have kids or maybe some family that's in the back, you can actually adjust what they're watching on those screens. Uh, they do have built-in Roku, so they're gonna act like a smart TV. Um, you're gonna get your Disney, Netflix, um, and you can even cast to the TVs themselves. So no longer just showing uh, the navigation on the screen in some of the radio settings. It's gonna have the full smart TV effect. Taking a look at the back seat, I am 6'1", so I'm a little bit taller. Rear seats, do recline back and slide backwards so there's plenty of knee space and headroom. This is sitting behind myself and I do usually sit pretty far back so there's gonna be a lot of space for all your occupants. They do have their heated seat and climate controls down here as well as four different chargers, a house outlet and a standard cigarette lighter. Uh, rear seats do recline so if you wanna lay back and relax a little bit, you can do that in the back seat of the Wagoneer. Let's take a look at the third row. Taking a look into the third row, there's a button right on the shoulder of the seat, pushes it all the way forward, and you can easily access the third row. There are buttons down here to operate the rear seat, so instead of having to go all the way to the back, you do have your set of buttons here, and that's gonna lift those third row seats. Now, if I hop in, again, I'm a little bit taller at 6'1", I can easily get in and out, and I have lots of space back here, and I'm very comfortable. If I pull the seat all the way back, tons of headroom back here and I do have my third row sunroof. Rear seats are power recline. There's a button off to the left. I can raise and lower them as well as all my different charging ports and my cup holder for a drink. So tons of space back here, really comfortable and really easy to get out. Touch one button, push the seat forward a little bit. I can easily hop right out. If there's any questions you have or you need some help customizing your Wagoneer or Grand Wagoneer, make sure to come to Walzer CJD and Hopkins and you can ask for Luke or you can visit us at walzercjd.com. See you soon.